Good morning friends, I am Rajendra Prashad and at present you are viewing my channel Raj Photo Tech. In this episode you will learn how to use the graduated filter in Lightroom. In this tutorial we will learn how to use the graduated filter in Lightroom. A common problem the landscape photographers face is that during the morning and evening the skies can be too brighter than the landscape and digital cameras have limited dynamic range. So you can either expose for the sky and end up with a dark murky landscape or can expose for the landscape and find that your beautiful bright sky has washed out to white. In this situation, photographer use graduated filter on the lens which is a clear half and a dark half glass and a transition area in between to solve this problem. You are seeing the image of graduated filter on the screen. But there is also a built-in tool in Lightroom which can stimulate a graduated filter. Graduated filter of Lightroom is an incredibly powerful tool which really comes in handy when you want to edit a specific part of an image. We will use this filter on the image which you are seeing on the screen. As you can see that the sky in this image is overexposed, so there is a little detail in a sky. To edit the photo, open the develop module and here you are seeing the basic adjustments such as white balance, exposure, highlights and shadow etc. Now I am moving the exposure slider and you can see that it is affecting the entire image. If I reduce the exposure to bring out the sky details, foreground also becomes dark. But in this case, I want the sky area of the landscape to be dark. So in this situation, we can use the graduated filter to solve our problem. You will find the graduated filter here at the top right side of the menu bar. Click to open it. Its shortcut is M. So you can also press M in the keyboard to open it. In the panel of graduated filter, you will get different sliders to control exposure, highlights, clarity, saturation, etc. which you get in basic adjustment panel. But now with this tool, we can apply any one or a combination of these adjustment on any particular part of the image. Just to show you how this graduated filter works, I am moving the exposure slider to the left to decrease the exposure. As you select the graduated filter, the cursor changes in plus sign. I am now clicking and dragging the mouse and you can see two more lines on both sides of the middle line appear. And as I drag, you can see the effect is applied, which gradually fades out from top to bottom. I can make this transition abrupt. If I drag this hand sign in the lower line up to make these two lines closer, or drag this down to make the transition softer as you are seeing here. If you hover the mouse over this circle, a red overlay shows which areas are being affected as you are seeing on the screen. If you place the mouse to the sides of the middle line, the cursor changes in double arrow and you can rotate the filter to affect the different part of the image. I am using only the exposure slider, that is why the filter is affecting the exposure, but you can use saturation, clarity, dehage, temperature or any other slider to apply their effect. If you want to delete this filter, just hit the delete button to delete it as I am showing you here. Now after showing you how this tool works, I am showing you how to correct this image. In this image, you can see that the sky is too bright and without any detail. So for bringing out the detail, we will use the dehaze filter. I am first increasing the dehaze amount with this slider 
and then using the graduated filter. Now you can see the filter has made the sky dark and has brought out details in the cloud. You can get the same effect if you use the graduated ND filter on the camera lens. For comparing before and after images, press the backslash key. Color graduated filters are also used in landscape sometimes and if you want to give the effect of a color graduated filter click here and a color panel will open and you can select any color here and you can see that our ND graduated filter is converted into color graduated filter. But in my opinion this photograph is looking better without the color so I am not using any color. If you look carefully, you will find that the graduated filter has made the house also dark, which is not looking right. But do not worry, we can correct it. At the top of the graduated filter panel, you can see the brush written here. Click to open the brush panel. At the base of the graduated filter now, you can see the brush panel. You can set the size, feather and flow of the brush from these sliders. We will use the brush to erase the effect of graduated filter from the house. So click to select the erase mode here. Check the auto mask to make the brushing easy and paint on those areas of the image which you want to recover as I am showing you here. Now you can see the image is looking better. You can apply more than one graduated filter in your image if you need. <clears throat> For demonstrating this, I am using another graduated filter to just darken the bottom of the image to enhance it. For this, click this new button and as before drag the graduated filter from the bottom to top and you can see the bottom of the image has also become darker and image is looking better. You can see the before and after image by clicking the backslash button. Now open any image and practice applying graduated filter on it. Bye for now. See you again in next tutorial. Have a nice day. Kindly subscribe and like our video channel for more interesting video tutorials. If you want to get notification about our upcoming tutorials, kindly press the bell icon. See you again in the next tutorial. Goodbye and have a nice day.